great big old buckskin horse and everywhere we used him he'd buck every day at least once and we never could figure out what the deal was but if I'd ride him I could either feel him better or something because he wouldn't buck with me it used to really tick my husband off because every time he'd get on this horse I mean he would rip and so uh, I was most of the time I was out riding in the in the nearby pasture and it was 40 acres and I rode around that and I, could, I thought to myself, ooh, this horse is going to blow a cork any minute. So I just babied him along. We ran around the 40 acres. Um, before that I told my husband, I said, I want to ride Buck. And he said, oh, you can't ride that sucker. He's way too much for you. And I said, oh, I want to ride Buck. So he said, all right, I told you you have trouble with him. So anyway, I was coming back and I re remembered what Jake had said. And when I got back to the house, I said, oh, there's nothing wrong with him he's fine and I said I'll put him up and he said no no don't put him up I'm gonna ride him and so I thought oh this is gonna be fun so I ran in the house looked out the window just in time to see that sucker blow a cork buck Jake off he was spinning around and I thought that was funny <laughs> and so um, I never told Jake that until quite a few years later that I had done that but then actually later on buck I was riding him when the boys were practicing and uh, I got mad at him because he wouldn't turn like I wanted him to so I spurred him in the shoulder, wouldn't you know, he blew a cork with me that time and I remember ending up on my back and I couldn't breathe and Jake came over and he said, see I told you he was a bad one. <laughs>